Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. This is actually gonna be a special episode. I'm actually gonna be doing my first ever fish room tour. And the room is actually nowhere near being done, but I've made some progress in it and I just wanna show you guys what I've done so far. But before, before I actually show you guys the room, I wanna give you guys an update on little Simba, the kitten that we actually saved a couple days ago. Hey buddy, did I wake you up? <laughs> Look at him, he's trying to bite me, man. He's been acting super crazy lately. But it's a good thing. He's been super playful. When I first got him, he just slept a lot. He didn't really eat much. He had really bad diarrhea, fleas. He was really skin and bones. And as you can see, guys, look at that belly now. He's super chunky. And before, you used to be able to feel his backbone, his ribs. You can't really feel any of it anymore. He doesn't have any more fleas. He doesn't have no more diarrhea. So he's been doing super, super good. That makes me happy, and I'm sure. I mean, he looks pretty happy to me. All right, so as you guys can saw, Simba has been doing extremely, extremely good. So let's go, let's go to the fish room. All right guys, so this, this is the official Aquaman fish room right here. As you can see, it is nowhere near being done. There's still a lot of changes that I'm gonna be making to this room, but this is how it looks so far. And I wanna show you guys the before pictures so you guys can see the difference. So as you guys just saw, this room was a mess, but I'm gonna be giving you guys a quick little tour of their whole entire room. And then we're gonna go ahead and start talking about this little guy right here, my black orchid beta. His name is actually Pepper. And you guys are probably thinking, why would you name your beta Peppers? Actually, because I have a platinum beta that's gonna go in here. I actually have him in a different tank right now, but I'm gonna be switching him to here very soon. So it's gonna be salt and pepper. All right, so let's start right here. I actually got this shelving unit at Walmart for about $39, I think it was. And it holds a lot of weight. As you can see, I have two five gallons on it and I had a 10 gallon on it. And at one point I even had a 20 gallon tall on it. So it holds a lot of weight, it's stable and it has a lot of storage. And this right here, this is actually my favorite part of the room. This is actually a piece of art that my dad sent me. And it's actually a drawing. The glare is pretty bad, but it's actually a drawing of me holding a bass. And my dad sent me this for my birthday. And I haven't seen my dad in a long time. And I'm probably not gonna be able to see him in a couple of more years. So this piece right here means a lot to me. This side of the room, I got my fishing poles. Guys, fishing is actually one of my favorite hobbies. Right here, I got another piece of art with another largemouth bass. I don't know if you guys have noticed the pattern, but the bass is actually one of my favorite fish. And I hope one day, maybe I can own a big pond and maybe have a couple of these guys. And guys, on September 28th, I'm gonna be dropping a super cool video. I'm actually gonna go fishing in the biggest artificial saltwater reef and it has eagle rays it has stingrays it has sharks eels it has parrotfish it has pufferfish it has a whole bunch of crazy saltwater animals and i'm actually going to be able to swim with them so you guys need to stay tuned for that video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit that bell because you guys don't want to miss that video and on this wall over here this actually belongs to my girlfriend. I think she's gonna be giving it away to her dad. So I wanna buy like a futon right here. That way we can actually just sit down, maybe chill in the fish room when people come over, I don't know. But on this wall right here, I actually need you guys' help because I don't really know what I wanna do on this wall. Like I don't just like keeping fish. I love reptiles like bearded dragons, leopard geckos. I love uh, ball pythons, but I don't know what I wanna do here. I don't wanna, I don't, I don't know if I wanna get like a big 90 gallon, maybe get like a flower horn or something. Or I don't know if I want to build like some type of rag, maybe get some bearded dragons or a bearded dragon and a ball python, maybe some leopard geckos. I don't know, guys. Let me know what you guys want to see in the comments below. Now I got this tank right here. This is a 20 gallon long and it's on top of one of these shelving units, but a bigger one. But I don't want to show you guys this tank yet because I want to do a full video just on this tank right here. So you guys need to stay tuned for that. As my videos aren't just going to be about two betas and a 20 gallon long and a whatever I built on that side of the room. I actually have like a whole bunch of other stuff around the house. We got, we have goldfish, we have a community tanks, we have bearded dragon, we have frogs, we have shrimp tanks. We have a whole bunch of other stuff that I want to show you guys in the future. All right, so now that I gave you guys a tour, now I'm gonna be talking about this five gallon tank right here. I'm actually gonna be changing the whole thing. As you can see, the gravel is a little low right now. So I'm actually gonna be adding more gravel to it. I got four of these, which I'm gonna be using for the hardscape. I also got these two plants right here. This one right here is a Yaba fern. And this one is pretty much the same thing, but it says a Nino fern. So it's some type of fern. So that's what we're gonna be doing right now. But first I gotta take out at least half of this water, take out the beta, take out my little snail in the back. 
And then we're gonna start working on this. So as you can see, I just took out half of the water and I was gonna take out the beta and the snail so I can add more gravel, but I did lose the gravel. I can't find it anywhere in the house. So I'm just gonna leave the beta in here and the snail and I'm gonna add the rocks and the plants right now. All right guys, so I just finished setting up the five gallon tank for the beta. Hopefully you guys like it. I love it. I know he's gonna like it. So let me show you guys what I did. All right guys, so this is the setup. It is a top fin retreat, five gallon. If you guys are interested, you can find it at PetSmart for about, I think it goes for like 40 bucks. It comes with the filter, comes with the light, it comes with everything except for the, for the heater. But anyways, this is what I did to the tank. When you guys saw it earlier, it didn't have anything except for the gravel and these two moss balls right here. So I actually went to my local fish store and I got a big zebra stone and I smashed it and that's how I got these four pieces right here. And then I went and I bought these two plants, which one is a java fern and the other one is like some type of fern so i glued them to the rocks because i heard it's the best way to actually plant these plants gluing them to stuff so that's what i did if you guys want to know how i did that let me know and i'll be doing a video on how to glue plants to rocks driftwood or anything else but yeah guys this is a setup hopefully you guys like it if you do like it hit that like button leave a comment down below let me know what you guys want to see next don't forget to subscribe and if you can please hit that bell all right thank you guys for watching if any of you guys lives in florida make sure you stay safe don't forget to pray for the homeless and remember god is good peace